Hello everybody, welcome back to Plum Circle. Ethan Adele here, and in today's episode of Ethan Adele's Bakes, we will be doing our great grandma beats cheese dot cookie recipe. It's my mom's favorite cookie, and we're making it for, we're, ma we're making it to thank her, because she was helping us with our virtual school. We had to draw over a little nuts. And this is the recipe that our grandma beats made. She wrote it. These are the ingredients. Three four three fourth cup let's go. One cup of sugar, one egg beaten, and one fourth cup of molasses. And we also have two cups of flour, one and a half teaspoon of salt, another one, and two teaspoons baking soda, and a half teaspoon of ginger, and another half teaspoon of cloves, and last but not least, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's, Let's get cooking! cooking. And don't, don't forget, forget Please wash your hands. First, mix Crisco, sugar, egg, and molasses. Guys, this beer is very heavy. ingredients then add them to the egg mixture I'm mixing it with a fork looks good, looks good to me I'm going to add it to the egg mixture. I think this part is big and I'm just gonna keep coming. Now I'm gonna mix it. Oh! A lot of flour. And now that this is done, we're going to make balls the size of a hickory nut. Do you know how big a hickory nut is? No, I don't know. I don't even know what a hickory nut is. Maybe we could just make it this big. Okay. Ow! Don't eat the sugar. Fine. Well, let's start. So first, I'm going to make a balls, some balls out of the dough. This looks, this looks good. Now we're going to dip it in the sugar. Roll it around. Sugar, sugar. Sugar, sugar. Oh, it smells like the beans. Yeah. I don't want them in the balls and I'm rolling them in the sugar. We like to use parchment paper, parchment paper for a cookie sheet. Here we go. Well, I need to be rolled a bit more. Sugar, sugar, sugar now. The trick is that if your ball fits in your fingers, then it's perfect. Here we go. Make sure your ball is covered.
We want caramel and beets, recipe says. So bake it about to 400 degrees for about eight minutes. Until they puff up. As soon as the puff goes down, take them out. They should crinkle. Well, let's put them in. The first batch of cookies just got out of the oven. So now we put, now so now my brother just put them in the second one. We set our time for eight minutes, but the puff went down before the time went off. So make sure you wash your cookies. Now that we're going to scoop a cookie, it's sort of hard. Okay, let me show, let me show. And then boom, it's hot. I'm you very go. professional. I'll get my own. I'm very not professional. <laughs> Ready? Yay! <laughs> you should keep doing that. I got, I got, I got, I think I can do it. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> now we just have to wait for the second batch of cookies to come out and then we'll put it on here. We have to taste test to see if it's good for our mom before we give it to her. Itadakimasu! Itadakimasu! Mmm, mm, so delicious. Yeah, very good. We're walking Grandma, Grandma Beach, these are so good. Yeah. <clears throat> no. No. You from our, our mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well. Bye. Make sure you have a like and <laughs> subscribe. <clears throat> mom, we made something for you.